With Benjamin's resignation taking place immediately, leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins will take over as acting lieutenant governor while still maintaining her leadership role. Things are moving quickly here at the Capitol since this issue was brought up last week. When asked last Monday if she was aware of Lieutenant Governor Brian Benjamin's subpoena of his campaign before she appointed him as Lieutenant Governor, Governor Hochul simply responding, I was not aware. Last Thursday, the governor was asked again about the issue during her budget press conference. This time, Benjamin was in the room. I have utmost confidence in my Lieutenant Governor. This is an independent investigation related to other people, and he's fully cooperating. State police did a thorough investigation. I participated in that and the, the state police gave a recommendation to the governor and that was the process and that's typically the process for any um, uh, uh, for, for appointments. So I followed the process as, as it was supposed to be followed. But that changing now with the news of Benjamin's resignation and the governor's acceptance. She says quote, while the legal process plays out, it's clear to both of us that he cannot continue to serve as lieutenant governor. New Yorkers deserve absolute confidence in their government. The move came among mounting calls for him to resign from Republicans and Democrats. I think that's uh, pretty, uh, pretty important that he does. I mean, these are very serious allegations. Uh, he's been under investigation, I think, for some time, but now that he's been arrested, I don't see how he can perform his job duties uh, going forward with this cloud over his head. The Democratic primary is in June. I asked the New York State Board of Elections if Benjamin's arrest could take him off the ballot. I was told no, but a conviction would put him out of office by operation of law. However, he'd still be on the ballot even if he were to resign from office. While I'm told Hochul could pick a new sitting lieutenant governor if that were to happen, it still does not change Benjamin's ballot status. Again, the lieutenant governor has resigned, and we will continue to follow the steps in this process. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.